Director of Technology, Mark Greentree. The New South Wales Department of Education is quite a unique jurisdiction. We're the second largest in the world outside of New York. We serve over 800,000 students in 2,250 schools. And with that obviously comes a variety of technical issues with regards to just the scope and size. The amount of Windows devices we're using for our students and teachers is in excess of 360,000. So Microsoft has really helped us leveraging affordability when it comes to putting devices in the students' hands. Intune's changing the way we work. We can deploy applications through Intune quite seamlessly and easily without having to be restricted by some of the scale issues we have. I think Microsoft has really helped us come out of the darker days of IT. We no longer have to reinvent the wheel. Our team is very active on Microsoft Teams. We need to save teachers time in their admin. Instead of having a meeting, they'll put all of the information they need on Teams and they're buying that time back. And for every minute, every hour that you buy back for a teacher or a leader in a school, that's buying time back for thinking about teaching and learning for the students of that school. The vision for students in New South Wales is to provide and prepare students for the future. Getting that base level competency up first opens up the uh, opportunities for all students. Coding is actually a mandatory component of some of the syllabus documents now in New South Wales schools, so it has to be taught. It's non-negotiable. When students know that learning is going to be interesting, engaging, relevant for what they're about to do, they'll come to school. We had set up uh, an educational showcase and students were engaging with robots and 3D printing and using Microsoft Builder to design prosthetics for veterans and other students with disabilities. Michelle Michael. Work that is developed through OneNote, through Office 365, it allows students to move at their own pace, it allows students that are very gifted to go further, it allows students that need assistive technologies to be able to use those technologies in a meaningful way. If you're not giving your students those assistive technologies or the ability to move at their own pace or find their own learning journey, what are you providing them? I think Microsoft have got their eye on the future in terms of where they go with their development. They are focusing on the education process rather than the technology for technology's sake. Kids in uniforms stream from a school building. A website, aka.ms slash class dash tech. A logo, Microsoft Education.